Stella Dorsey standing by with that. The worst of it will be overnight tonight, but really from here on now, it's a good idea to hunker down, Ooh, stay no. off the roads. Helene, Pressure now a category two hurricane, just less than 300 miles off of the coastline of Florida, where it's still forecast to make landfall as a category three storm. It will make landfall in the Big Bend region of Florida. The good news is this coastline is not highly populated because the storm surge is forecast to be 20 feet. That is not survivable. Tallahassee going to take a direct hit. They're far enough inland. They're not going to see the storm surge, but they are going to see very strong winds, as will South Georgia. This storm going to move through South Georgia as a category one hurricane, and it's going to move through here, North Georgia, as a tropical storm early tomorrow morning, which means we will see tropical storm force winds above 40 miles per hour overnight. Currently, the wind is not too high. We are seeing rain. And guys, look how much rain we picked up just in the last day, over three and a half inches. That means the ground is now completely saturated. Any additional rain is going to have nowhere to go. It's going to run off into the creeks and streams, and we're going to see those creeks and streams rise very quickly from here on out. You can see that rain covers most of North Georgia now. And this is the brand new update in from NOAA. We are now under a 70% chance of flash flooding. I have not seen this more than once or twice in Atlanta. This is significant. What that means is we're very likely to see widespread flooding over the next 24 hours. You really need to stay vigilant. If you can stay off the roads, a good idea to do so. Not only is flooding a risk, we could see brief tornadoes, especially from Atlanta off to the east, a very low level 2% chance of a tornado. But a spin up tornado is not out of the question through the day today. That is the main severe risk outside of the flooding. So let's take you hour by hour. Heavy rain starts to move into Athens, Edenton, areas south of the city, going to see downpours by 4 p.m. By 6, 7, certainly by the time you're headed to bed, all of North Georgia has seen torrential rain. And that torrential rain will continue all night tonight. Guys, it is going to be extremely unsafe to be on the roads before sunrise tomorrow when we can get a scope of the flooding. Also tomorrow morning around 7 a.m. You see the eye moving through. That's when the winds will be the strongest. That's when we're the most likely to lose power. Good news is conditions will improve very quickly after about 10 a.m. Tomorrow we will dry out and that wind will die down. I want to give you an idea of when the wind will be the worst. It's while we are asleep. You can see it's certainly breezy this evening. But around 3 a.m., that wind really picks up. 6 a.m. tomorrow in Atlanta, we're seeing gusts above 50. So if you do lose power, it's most likely to be between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. And the further east you live, the stronger the wind will be. We could see borderline hurricane force winds across East Georgia overnight. So I'm still expecting widespread power outages by sunrise tomorrow. Like I said, Georgia power crews are going to be able to get out and get quickly get to fixing the power tomorrow because after about 10 a.m. we will dry out. It will stay breezy through the afternoon, but we'll see big improvements by tomorrow afternoon. May see a stray shower or two on Saturday, but generally this weekend looks dry and next week it looks fantastic. Guys, the next 24 hours are going to be really dicey, but we have you covered. We have a full team here. We will be in overnight. We'll be bringing you hourly updates. And for more on that, I want to bring in First Alert Meteorologist Rodney Harris. And we are working really hard on making sure Ella, the First Alert weather app is always giving you the most latest information. So I'm going to start by bringing up the QR code so you can download our First Alert weather app right now. All you have to do is take out your phone and take Take a picture of this QR code, and that is what will allow you to be able to download the app. So we'll slide that over to the left so you can always see where that is as I let you know the latest information in the app as of right now. The first thing you'll find when you log into our First Alert Weather app or alerts at the very top of the screen. My alert on my particular phone is showing me a tropical storm warning, a flood watch, and a tropical weather statement. This is the most important information you'll want to see right at the top of the First Alert Weather app. After you slide past the alerts, now we have our videos and you will always see the latest update on Helene. That's always going to be the number one video that's already up and ready to go for you. In addition to that, we just recently posted a video on all of the different alerts that we have out there in North Georgia. So you can track that as well. In addition to a forecast video of what you can expect today. And of course, you can always go to the bottom of that app and select radar track first alert radar for yourself. In addition to the track of Helene as it moves over North Georgia. Our extended coverage on Hurricane Helene continues on the other side of the break.